We stand in solidarity with the peaceful protests around the world as we attempt to see the end to the systemic racism and police brutality uh, to the black community yeah. and closer home people have lost their lives due to police brutality since the introduction of the curfews due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, we hope to use our platform as um, a place where we can have uncomfortable conversations around it and hopefully share more light on the injustices that we continue to face. If you are silent, you're part of the problem. So if you want to be a part of it and you feel like you don't have a voice where you can share, yeah. you can participate by do either donating or signing the petitions that people have online. Your silence is compliance funds. So yeah, we hope to see brighter days. Anyways, guys, welcome to our video for today. Um, today we have a very interesting video. Mm -hmm. We are going to be looking over our dating and our journey in relationship and address a few myths about marriage. Nice. And you look nice. You look like twins. Matching. Twinsies. Yeah. We will tell you where we got these jumpers from at the end of the, the video. video. So make sure you stick around. Ooh, yeah. Make amazing. sure you watch till the end. And they have an amazing deal, by the way. So make sure make sure you stick to the end and then you watch. Yeah. So, yep. Where do you want to begin? How was dating life? So, basically, we started dating. We started dating in 20... It's going to be three years this year. So we started dating in 2017. Yeah. In July, mm -hmm. but you know, before you start dating, they are being asked out on as like dates, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but not officially dating. We started dating in 2017, July, yeah. Um, and our dating life was very interesting. We were two broke <laughs> campus students, yeah. I remember That's our a dates. broke with a Q, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Our dates. I can't even remember your dates. That was really cool. But they were amazing. Like we had a good time. Yeah, yeah. they were really, really. We good. were really. I, I feel like we, we had were so happy. much fun. Yeah. We were happy. It was fun. I think not that we are not happy. Now. Yeah, no, we, are. <laughs> we just have more responsibilities now. We are happy. No, we are happy. It's just that we are young and free. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. Yeah, responsibilities yeah, are free. kind of like. Okay, yeah. So how is dating like? So there's like a specific place we used to go. You see the Olivia Folimu road. Mm. Your creamy ni kwa hapo. Kwa sababu ndo tunabai chicken pie. Ya 150, ya 120 and then sit in the car and talk. Yeah. And talk. But like could be there for 2 hours for parking. At yeah. the parking. The parking at over, in. Yeah. At Olivia. At Olivia here yeah, at chicken in. He? Hmm. Yeah. Creamy in. over there at Olivia and we talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. So those as in most of our dates were like that. And then the other times now we used to meet was during Bible study. Yeah. So we'd come earlier you and know, also chill in the car and talk or yeah. meet inside and pray. When we were dating, like I think most of our dates they they, they, they never went beyond two hundred shillings, most of them. Or the Kenyan five hundred. But then there were very rare dates that we spent on and it's because we didn't have it's not that yeah. it was, you know. Yeah, that we had each other. Because I remember like there was a place we used to go to Kaha when Danny could we used to eat chapels a man. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my god, god. <laughs> those chapels. Like, yeah. There are times I would drive all the way to Kaha with Danny just to get chapels. Yeah. Sometimes it wasn't even like to see him, yeah. it was to eat chapels. There was a day I remember I took those chapatis from there to your place. I I in Kapanda Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> but now the worst part about those chapels, they are nice when they are home. Yeah, because they keep poor. They keep poor. As in, as in, as in, they were not as yummy. Disclaimer, because I know people are gonna come for me for uh, you are driving me. I was living with my parents. Yes, I had a car, but yeah. my parents used to fuel it. Yeah. So please don't come for me. As broke. I used to go to car, baby. Those are baby. Yes. So we should redo that date. Like oh. we should go back to car. I keep telling him, I keep telling him I want to go back to Kari, yeah. but it was a very sensitive um, spot for him. Yeah. So we couldn't go. Yeah. Um, and that I had, had like mad I had, to talk about it to me. Yeah, I had to be very sensitive to the fact that he he wasn't comfortable. But now he's ready. It was yeah. a day we were driving home and he was like, Can we go to Kari? I'm like, Kathy. Then he's like, Not today. We'll go, but we'll go. We'll share that story another day. Yes. Anyway, so yeah, we, we used to, to, to we used to pass by uh, either chicken in mm. or a place we buy chicken and then we go. It was mostly chicken in, we yes. couldn't afford KFC. So we could yeah. go chicken in. And we go and chill in the forest and chill in the car and, and play, play Scrabble. Scrabble, yeah. Scrabble yeah. Not as it Scrabble at it remove the boat yeah, we were playing imagine. it on the phone it was so much fun yeah. and then and then we would pray like i remember there was a time we prayed it rained like it rained yeah 
Because I mean, you know, I feel like those moments were interesting. No, they were. Mm. They, but there are any dates that backfired, though? Are there dates that backfired that you remember? See, there's the one I took it to Namanga. We drove all the way to Namanga. And oh then... my god, so he tells me, get ready, we are going, we are going, we are going. She was looking nice that day. I put makeup, I mm. did what? I yeah. remember, like, I was looking really, really cute. Sometimes I tried to recreate that lip combination that I had put, it had never worked but we are your city. Yeah, so we went and decided I'm going to take this girl, we're going to go and ride quad bikes and yeah. stuff. Then we go to that place in Bissil, all the way in Bissil, Bissil in Bali, all the way in Bissil and then we find that all the bikes were spoiled. All of Imagine, them. Imagine like we couldn't all ride, we yeah. couldn't ride and then the place was empty, it was so dead, but it's yeah. like way. So we just ended up going to my grandmother's house and she cooked for my grandmother, she cooked Mbog and then I cooked Girl. My grandmother sings that song after Imagine. As in, according to him, uh, maybe, that day. maybe Kupika Majiko was such a big deal. For me, yeah, like for real, that, that was amazing for me. Like, you were looking so pretty and nice. And then you did that. Like, those were the things that, like, should, those are the moments that I look back on and I'm like, I, and yeah, I picked the right person. Mm. Yeah. Oh, not a nice thing to see. That was interesting. Yeah. I didn't think life was fun. It was so yeah, that's fun. the, those days, like it, it was cafe. Like oh, yeah. yeah. Like you order smoky or sausage, then she'll put for you and then put for you like seven chipos. Yo. And then she put sauce. Yo. <laughs> those chipos were tamu. Like, I think it's because they were kidogo. You know, yeah, like, you're yeah. looking at them, you're like, guy. Then the Isha. Yeah, it was so much fun. Our dating, our dating life was so much fun, and yet we didn't spend or overspend, yeah. and we didn't stretch ourselves. Like I never, I don't remember a time where I went beyond myself at it to try and impress you. And stuff. I think the first time you went beyond yourself was the day you asked me to be your girlfriend, and, and the day you proposed. proposed. Yeah, like those yeah. are the two times yeah. he pushed himself beyond his limit, and it doesn't mean that he wasn't doing his best. Yeah, but he didn't need to. Yeah. Those moments really solidified our friendship. Yeah. Because now we were not there because there's cute coffee and a yeah. nice drink that has multiple colors. Yeah. And, like, we were there as us, getting to know each other, hanging out, yeah. just being ourselves. I know. And so it really, really, really solidified the friendship that we share up to now. Yep, and then we move to marriage now. How was how marriage? Mm, I feel like no, we played. Marriage? We played, oh, we played ourselves. <laughs> dating. No, but maybe after dating, we got engaged. But anyway, that's slow dating. Yeah. We are courting now in that period, and that period like was stressful because us guys we got engaged, and like six, seven months later we were married. Yeah. So like those seven months was even wedding prep. Event ba, 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 ba. Yeah, because you can imagine wedding prepping, all our traditional ceremonies, yeah. and us we had two of them. Yeah. We didn't do itara. We did the itara way after. Um. So yeah. So in six months we got engaged. No, we graduate. We got engaged. We graduated. We graduated together, by the way. Yeah. Something I had prayed to God for. Imagine. Something else I had prayed to God for. But then let me tell you guys. So that you know prayers work. I had always wanted my kids to have my side names. Because the first time I had my side names was when I went to high school. Yeah. I lived, grew up in Yeri. And everyone was Kamau, Jerry, Joki. So when I went to high school, I had... No, this is when I had other names, you know. Akina Chef, Akina... Then I had a Masai name, and I remember the name that made me know I want my kids to have Masai names was the name Kosen. I was like, what? Atiko, what? Kosen. Hey! I want my kids to have Masai names. Can you see that I attracted a Masai man? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. So now my kids have very beautiful Masai names. Yeah. So I also wanted to graduate with my spouse, and yeah, we graduated together. Yeah. So I got engaged, we graduated, we did introduction. Yeah. Kuhadei Dege. Yeah. Lorasio wedding. wedding. Pop. Two months later, we found out what we found. Out. I thought it was two months later. Mm -hmm. It was like a month and a half. No. A month and a half. A month and a half. No, just two months. Because yeah. it was the end of August. Is when we found out we were pregnant. Yeah. We found out on August twenty eighth. Yeah. That's when we found out we were pregnant. So two months later, we found out we were pregnant, and so marriage for us was like we 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 were married for two months before we became parents. Not that the you know the pregnancy journey is also like now starting to think about the children and everything. Yeah. So how was the marriage? It was fun when it lasted. It lasted two months. So. But we are still married. What do you mean it lasted two months? Or what do you mean oh, like, it lasted like two the, months? I'm, I'm talking about when we were just the two of us. Oh. Like we didn't have responsibilities. We didn't have all these other things. But even the first time, we didn't have responsibilities. Okay, yeah, well, we I had feel, responsibilities because I was unwell. Yeah, but I feel like having a solid dating phase 
did made made it uh, easy for us to have that transition. Like yeah. it didn't matter whether we didn't stay married at if before. for Yeah, I think also it's because we were dating intentionally. We were not just yeah. dating for this year. And we were talking dating. every single day. And by every single day I mean almost twelve six hours in a day. <laughs> She used to yeah. call me like all the time. My brother the other day would reminded me of a time where we left Kahawa Wendani, we drove all the way to Shags Namanga and we were on call the <laughs> entire trip. Yeah, I'm I'm that crazy man. I'm, yeah. I'm that person. So that was that, that was interesting. And if you feel like that that was interesting, so now we can move to the myths. Yeah. So yeah. now we wanted to cover some myths about marriage. Yeah. And so I'm gonna go through them. Myth number one. Mm-hmm. Number one. Your true love will automatically know what to do and say to make you happy. <laughs> That's a lie. Why? No. Hmm? Why? Mm-hmm. Why? Because you know you are you're an individual person. And it's not automatically that you will you, you will not automatically know that this person this is what will make them happy. Mm-hmm. And the the misconception usually is and what people usually do mm-hmm. is when you get into a relationship when you get into marriage mm-hmm. you we all have like different love languages, right? Yes. You know love languages yes. touch uh, these gifts uh, words of affirmation, affirmation and acts of service. They are five. What's the difference? They are four. No. It's five. touch. Words of affirmation, gifts, mm-hmm. acts of service. There's a fifth one. I swear down. Okay, fine. Uh-huh. <laughs> Please, if if you know the fifth one, put it in comment the comment section. Down below. The easiest thing for you to do when you get into a relationship, mm. or the misconception or the mistake that people make, mm. is that you start loving the other person with your love language. The way you go to so, love. So yeah. So you love them with your love language and you think that makes them happy. Mm. And then you wonder why they're not happy. And then you're like, I do this for you and you, you're not being happy. So you begin yeah. to feel frustrated. Mm. So communication is impo- is the number one most important thing in the relationship because it you need communication in everything. Yes. Like you need to communicate what you want. Like, I mean, even intimately. Like, yeah. You have to say, I like this. I don't like this. Do this. I like this, but I don't like this. Uh, and also, you have to be intentional about loving the other person in their love language. Yes. Because it auto- automatically comes to you um, to love someone the way you want to be loved. Yeah. So you have to be intentional to be like, okay, they don't like gifts. Like my husband's love language is touch. Yeah. So he wants to be touched all the time. If it was... <laughs> and I think for a lot of men, it's like that. that. For me, my greatest love language is acts of service. My number one love language is acts of service. Yeah. Surprisingly, I don't act of service for other people. Yeah. I do gifts for other people. Now, me, I do gifts. But be intentional. Like, look at it like he does not care for acts of service. Yeah. So how can I love him with his love language? Do I hold his hand as we watch a movie? Make sure that I'm close to him. Yeah. Hold his hand before we go to bed. Like, just... Things that will make him feel yeah. that I am loved. And for him, he has to be intentional about the acts of service. Acts of service for him is going out of his way as much as he hates doing dishes yeah. to do the dishes that day. Because yeah. for me, that will make me really happy when I come and see Kai. I can't have your own book. Mm. It makes me happy. So it's the intentionality. As you communicate, also be intentional that you love the other person the way they want to be loved. Yeah. Myth number two. Myth number two. There is a specific path in marriage, e.g. children, like having children, like having done this by a particular time, having bought a house by this particular time, mm-hmm. becoming mama nani, you know. The husband becoming the provider. Such things. Yeah. yeah. You start. I don't think there is. One, especially now that we, that one of the e.g.s is children. Children is a very sensitive topic and we need to learn that it is a very sensitive topic for many women not just women even couples mm. there are many women men and women who've decided they don't want children they have their own insecurities they have their own reason why they don't want children maybe they have a, a childhood trauma that makes them think no children yeah. and so when you try and bring up the conversation for you'll change your mind you're being very insensitive to the to, to what someone wants for themselves yeah. secondly don't go asking women are you pregnant 
or when are you having children? Mm -hmm. Let that be a conversation starter from the person. Yeah. Like if I come tell you I'm pregnant, let's have the conversation. Yeah. Or I'm trying for children, let's have the conversation. But don't come ask me, hey, I can me alone, can I never know about now at all? You don't know that so woman is struggling. You don't know, as in you have no idea what's going on in that marriage, marriage. Yeah. because people don't share everything, and it's anyway none of your business, yeah. by the way. So just don't get involved in that conversation. So no, there's no specific way to have children. We had children two months into getting married. Other people will wait five years. Other people will wait ten years. Other people will just not have children. Other people will opt to adopt. Because yeah. also now that's another thing that people don't... In this country, adoption is not a story that people want to have. Yeah. But there are people who decide to adopt. Some of them not because they don't want to have children. Because maybe they have children and they're thinking, I want to have more kids. But I don't want to give birth. And how about instead of being selfish to give birth to seven children, not that it's selfish, how about I give another child a life that I would have, you know, like yeah. I'd give my children. Yeah. That child does not have the opportunity to go to a good school, but I can afford to do that for them. Why don't I bring them into my home? Yeah. So let's be sensitive to the needs of other people, to the wants of other people, because it's not your life. It's not. So there's no specific path. Um, for me, uh, children are a very sensitive topic for me because I have uh, friends, I know people, I, I, I am a victim of being asked stupid questions, so that point in case. Uh, for you, what do you uh, specifically Yeah, ask? no, I agree with you. I feel like there, there is no specific, there is no specific part mm. of marriage, there is yeah. nothing like that. And like, even when I mentioned um, a man being a provider, because so many people have asked me that question mm. of, um, you know, what do I do if my man is not providing? Mm. Nini, nini, uh, mm. So you find that I'm, I'm not advocating for laziness. Yes. That I'm not advocating for, because according to the Bible, a man should be a provider. Yes. You're supposed to be the head of your home. Yes. And there's just a satisfaction that comes to a man when you provide. When you spend when able to provide, yes, on, for on you. your woman and on your family. Like, you just feel good about yourself. Yeah. when you do such things but if you're not in a position where you are not able mm. to do that mm -hmm. I feel like as a wife it is your responsibility to cover your man for that season Yeah, because seasons change they do, that yeah. is so true and to give an example like for us when we were dating her, she had a job. I didn't have a job when we were dating. Yeah. So she had a salary. Me, I didn't have. So I was earning nothing. She was earning uh, everything. You get. Mm -hmm. So like, if you had that around me then, like, I don't think that we would be no. partners yeah, now. That's true. And even if we were, then our the attitude in our marriage around money would have been totally different. Different. And so that um erases norms and, and ideas. Like, at the, as a man, your wife should not do this. Should not do this. Should not do this. Like, that's I feel true. like yes, it is your responsibility responsibility mm. to pay the bills and all those things but i feel like it is the more satisfying when you people share yeah. resources like you are open about what you're doing and when also it's about your home not about akinanani do it this way akinanani do it this way. that's something else that's breaking a lot of marriages yeah. because you're trying to do your marriage like akinanani yeah. and you're not them they are, they have their understanding the man mm. could be earning 1.5 million the wife earns 150,000 yeah. so that man can provide you, in your case, you could be the wife earning 1.5 million yeah. and your man is earning 150,000. Come and rent you 100,000, yeah. surely. How is it, which is easier for who to do? And like my husband had said, there are seasons in marriage. Like, it's a, imagine marriage is a lifetime. Yeah. Until death do us part. Yeah. So there's a time where you'll be earning more, he'll be earning more, I'll be earning more. He'll, so... How you go about that in your marriage yeah. is supposed to be so personal to the both of you yeah. that the next door neighbor is not supposed to know. Yeah. That's at the at the Because now another thing is that spoiling marriages is women and gossip. Yeah. Hey. My husband did not. My yeah. husband. What happened to covering? Yeah, there are two types of, of fights. There's a ring fight and there's a street fight. What does that mean? <laughs> when you fight in the ring, you're yeah. fighting for a reward. Yes. Whether you win or you lose. Like mm. it's just the two of you, you're in a ring, you're fighting and when you whoever wins, you get a reward. Yeah. And both of you actually get a reward. Mm. But Yao and Mayweather both got a lot of money mm. after they fought. They fight. You get. Mm. But if mkipigana kwa ring, manapigana jukuna reward. Mm. You get. And it's a competition, so you're fighting to make each other better. Mm. 
So when you're fighting in the ring, your opponent will go and practice because they want when they come to, to the ring to be good. Wako, wako mm. saa, wana get. So it pushes you to become better. Mm. But when you go to street fight, street fight what will begin to Yeah. So if you yeah, so if you take your relationship to the street mm. it will be and your death. marriage to the street, people will kill your marriage. They will. Yeah. They will so destroy. you you'd rather, you'd rather stay in that ring and just you know. That's mm-hmm. why people were waiting ring. Oh, you mean is oh my god. Wow. <laughs> ah, I hadn't can said that one. Baby, when did this happen? Okay, yeah. I've always been like that. Yes, hmm. I have. Myth number 3. Yeah. Children bring people closer. Ah. Hey, na katana miguda mikono. Children do not bring people closer. No. If anything, children test a relationship, guys. They do. We've had kids for 2 months and I'm st- Speaking like this, are you seeing the passion mm. in my eyes? <laughs> Children yeah. test people, like from the minute they are conceived, yes. not even be- before they are born. When the pregnancy comes like this, and you have to start that journey, and mm. then there's cravings, and then there's sacrifices that have to be made. You know, sacrifices, huge sacrifices, sacrifices. That Hallelujah. have <laughs> to be made. Hey, my friend, I'm telling you, sacrifices of time and waiting, they have to be. Children test a relationship. Yes. Yeah. So, like this. Children are a whole other dynamic, yeah. And it's something you're introducing to it's just the two of us, then now here comes the child, yeah, or the children, yeah. And you don't know how to take it, yeah. He doesn't know how I'll take it, mm. it tests me differently, it tests him differently, yeah. So, how he reacts, how I react could bring a lot of conflict, could yeah. bring a lot of you don't understand me, I don't understand you. Then there's just the demand for attention and time as well. Yes. You get, like, because that, now you're that like, that you're always with the children, yeah. when, where is my time? Yeah. So it's a very sensitive dynamic. Yeah. Um, and so if you're trying to have children yeah. to solidify the marriage, yeah. you might end up damaging the yes. whole situation and it's not fair to anyone yes because i know especially the kids. of people yes especially for the children it's very det- det- detrimental to them because they'll come into a broken situation yeah. and they don't know how to handle it and then a, a lot of grown-ups also don't know how to handle it yeah. so me as the woman i'm going to tell my kids hey that's a bayern, oh. yeah. so it, he's their father regardless yeah. of the situation or whatever yeah. so the point in case is Children don't bring people closer. Maybe in some situations it can, but don't have children in the hope yeah. that it will fix yeah. your marriage. Um, you know, like for me, I come from a broken home, so I I know like I know firsthand what that can do to to kids and stuff. And that is why, like, one of the resolves that we have in our marriage is that our marriage comes before the kids. Yes. So, like, we... Your marriage comes fast. Come fast. They come and they will go. The like, look at us. We after, talk like to. after a few years to come, yeah. they will leave us, the two of us. I left now, my mom's house. Yeah. The problem here, is, yeah. the problem yeah. is, when we make our our marriage now, be dependent on kids. On the children. So, the conversation, we're having a conversation around Everything children, about children, 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 children. What happens when they leave? Yeah. What happens to the emptiness? To this? They're called empty, so they're called empty nesters. When yeah. the kids leave and it's just not the back to the two of you, back to honeymoon. Yeah. So, again. for us, if we have time and we can leave them with their grandmothers and... People, let them we stay run. there. We go. We, we, we need to. We need to keep that and have because that it's necessary. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, necessary. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Myth number last. No, two more. Mm. No, I think we can do this um, as we can join it. Okay. Happy couples. It's about happy couples. Happy yes. couples. Uh-huh. Social media couple. Couple goals. So happy couples do everything like us, together. You know, nice jumpers. Eh? But they goals. we're not couple goals. Don't tag us as couple goals. Mm. It's, we don't like that terminology. Oh, happy. you guys look cute together. You look so happy. Of, of course, we are cute together. Yeah. But we're not couple goals. Yeah. So happy couples do everything together, and happy couples don't argue. I've decided to merge it so that we can, you know. First of all, the, is there such are there happy couples? You do you do know happy oh, couples? Oh, happy couples. <laughs> Yes, they're happy couples, but happiness is very relative and happiness is not everything. Even you, you are a single person, you're not always happy. Happy Please. couples 
are people who've chosen to be happy yes. in spite of their differences and Thank difficulties in, in their relationship. Mm. So there is no such thing as a perfect marriage and a perfect relationship where you people don't fight, you don't argue, no. you wake up every morning and it's hi, you're home, you oh, know, it's hi. fun. That would be mm. a very boring relationship, yes. first of all, to speak of. And then the fact that you are two being pe human beings who are raised totally very different. different. You have had experiences for years and yes. patterns for years <laughs> and now you have to accommodate another living Human person being. into your space then definitely there are going to be, to be moments where you're going to have conflict like Absolutely. it has to come Absolutely. now the difference will come in how you are handling your conflicts and your differences yes and how you your, your attitude towards that yes. but like i can tell you this people will portray a, their relationship as a relationship where they they don't they don't fight they don't argue they're always happy they're always taking cute pictures but pictures are taken in seconds mm. as in it takes and you can fake for seconds, but you can't fake for a lifetime because mm. that is what you're committed to. Mm. Like you know, like you, deep, eh? I know, I know. Like you know, a lot of your YouTube people, what yeah. I, what okay, what any to me? Yeah. They're wearing very cute clothes and makeup. Chinga with a pajama pants. You don't see the pajama pants. That's how relationship goes. Look. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but it's true, no. <laughs> but they know. See, people know. People know. That's what a couple goes looks yeah. like. Mm. Okuju, it's roses and flowers and velvet. Yeah. Who could talking Because it, it's good by the I feel it, it's good and I'm not attacking anyone because even us, like we don't want to show people the times when we are fighting. Well, yeah, we're not gonna do that we argue and things like that. But I feel like you should just know. Yeah. It is it's supposed to be common knowledge. You should know that if you see people who look happy together is because they have chosen to be They've happy. been very intentional. And for us, one of the things we're very intentional about, because you can't be able to do everything, and like yeah. I said, no marriage is the same, yeah. no relationship is the same. So Please. for us, ours is we don't go to bed angry. Yeah. Regardless of who fought, who started, who did not, yeah. we find a way to whoever is going to be the bigger person, we are not sleeping upset at each yeah, other. Like Mrona, just like that, I'm forgiven for what I did. <laughs> this is good, right? So, <laughs> so, so we, given. yes. So we, so we are very intentional about not going to bed upset. That's yeah. because one, it's scriptural, and yeah. two, it's good for your peace of mind. There's nothing as bad as waking up upset. It yeah. ruins the whole of your day. Yeah. We'd rather spend thirty minutes, journey, yeah. discussing. But why did you do it like this? Yeah. Why can't we sort this out now? You know, yeah. and resolve the issue. Yeah. So. So that's our way of doing it. I don't know how other people sort it out, but we're always gonna argue. The other, the other myth was, you do everything together, my friend. You we are not conjoined twins. Yeah. It cannot work. <laughs> it's not possible, though. Yeah. We, you are an individual. Yeah. I am Grace. Outside of being Mrs. Shunet, no one yeah. calls me Mrs. Shunet, but you get the gist. Outside of being a Mrs., outside of being a mom, mm. I am Grace first. Yeah. So what does Grace need? Does Grace need to shower for thirty minutes? Like right now, showering for ten minutes is a luxury as yeah. a mother yeah. of twins. It's a luxury to be in the shower for ten minutes. Yeah. You enter the shower like this, umefungula too much. Grace, nani ana? Oh, like yeah. so you need your time. You if your time, what you love doing is reading a book. Set aside thirty minutes every day, an hour every day for just you, yeah. because you need to relief to as in a release. And sometimes, Beshtiakwa is a senior. At Kimona, the whole day is a senior. You know, like yeah. his face can get upsetting. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, your face doesn't get upsetting. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, you're an individual outside of your marriage. Yeah. So you can't always do everything together. It will also get boring. At I'm talking, I'm gonna be good. At I want to do this, you want to do this. Then now you are forcing issues. Yeah. Two, we are, we are here. We are and yeah. When we went to therapy. I remember the therapist told me, asked me, Damon, what do you do for fun? And I was like, nothing. She was like, you don't even watch football? I was like, no. Then she was like, you need to find something. Yeah. You need to find something because if you don't, you will crash. Mm. And it is only natural because as a person, you need a break. You, you need do. time to, to stop. And, and work on yourself and mm. just be by yourself yeah. and just you know like reflect and do something so if it's going to the gym go to the gym whether it's going for a walk go to the for a walk or yeah. something like that and just take a break from everything and, and breathe in it's very mm. important for you it is. so yeah you, you you can do most of the things together but you don't have to do everything you shouldn't do everything yeah. together 
Yeah. Because we kind of technically do a lot. We do a lot together, but yeah. we also have our own time. Like me, I love watching a lot of YouTube. He doesn't care for yeah. for it much. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So I have sometimes I'll come to the room so that he can watch whatever he wants on the TV. Yeah. And I'll come and watch on my laptop or my phone in the room. Yeah. We need to it's spend. It's good. Time. Yeah. Like that. That's good. Then you miss the other person. Then you can have. Sorry. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, guys. That was our video for today. We got these jumpers from none other but Smiles Prince. Yes. So Smiles Collection has a division called Smiles, Smiles Prince where they do these amazing things. Right. Yeah. So we'll put the Instagram down below. So make sure you go and follow them and give them business. Support local. Support Kenya. Yes. Support Kenyan Gucci, my friend. Support these things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you learned something, one or two things. And also, if you have not subscribed, if you are among the people, because when you want to watch, but subscribers are not reflecting. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, share, share as much as you can, so that if you have learned something, someone else will learn as well. Yeah. That's why we are here. We are here to share our little knowledge the, and the wisdom that God has given us to all of you. So please hit the subscribe button. And the notification bell. So when we put up a video, yeah, the first time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your love and support. We truly, really appreciate it. Until next time.